Oh, Sheely, calm it down. It's just a desert level. <laughs> I hate desert level. But it's a necessity. Don't worry, I hate the desert too. Oh, wait, wait. I see someone buried in the sand. Is that Iki? <laughs> oh. No, it's it's just a harmless apple. <laughs> All right, hold on, I'll pull you. Come on, get up, yeah. get up. There you are, Icky. Yeah, Icky. That, and that yeah, we was got our Icky. Fruit. Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy, and Icky is joining us for this part. I hate the beach. You don't like the beach. The beach isn't so bad. <laughs> you know, Icky, I swear, we tend to find you in the weirdest places. That is true. <laughs> it's but almost as if you brought me in from another I dimension. I that looked like that. That's just weird. I know. I, I, I never really oh, oh, weird oh, that oh, 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 once you're in the sand, you cannot get out. So, yeah. And uh, again, Nikki, do not mind the little... Um, yeah, I was, I was about to say, but then I was like, nah, you guys are in the we, we planned around it. It's it's okay. We'll just keep talking. Apparently, this is the last part it happens in. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we'll be okay. I want you to do that. So, I mean, desert levels in Mario haven't always been the best, which is why, especially in the case of, say, Odyssey, it was very brave of them to start with the desert level. Yeah. Hey, Mama, look! How about helicopter? In terms of the biggest yeah. part. Well, even then, Odyssey did just enough to the desert level to make it a little more unique compared to others. Yeah, right. there's enough going on that it's not as it's, yeah. it's not as boring at all, really. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Odyssey, looking yeah. at this game after 11 years, this game still looks amazing. Oh, oh yeah, for the Wii, it looks really great. Uh huh. Well, Still no, here's the thing. Nice. Like, for the GameCube and the Wii, especially the <gasps> Wii, you'd notice, like, a whole bunch of, like... You see how there's, like, little pixely bits on, like, the Piranha Plant spine uh, there? Yeah. yeah. You'd see that for, like, every single Wii game on the planet. In this well, case, yeah, no, you that, only no, see I... it, like, very rarely. Right, no, and that's the thing is, like, I hate when people are like, oh, the Wii is such a weak console, and I show them this, because it's like, well, yeah. there are there are developers and, and who just colors. make those stupid shovelware titles who just don't care. Mm -hmm. And Sonic well, not to mention that figure. said Shovel Warrior titles, uh, five times out of ten, they're usually um, taken from the PlayStation Two. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. so they, and they just put, they just dra they just straight up drag and drop port it to the Wii. Yeah, and tack on motion controls because they can. Uh. Well, th and then you got the Switch that's porting practically everything, and we just can't get enough of that. Yeah, yeah. honestly, um, you know. Well, I mean, the Switch's case. Nintendo knew how to get around the low poly uh, model here with just you know making it making it look really nice. Yeah. Well, well, that and, and, and certain, for certain models, they they you only see them from a nice huh? yeah nice I mean, shot. Granted, there's some cases where you could pre where they m make up for the the low model quality by only showing them from a distance. Mm -hmm. Now I'm sorry. Now I'm imagining Icky being like from Meyer Golf. Meyer Golf. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> Nice shot! Anyway, oh, yeah. it's in the rough. This is a long level. Do you guys think this is yeah. like some twisted version of a uh, uh, shifting oh, sandland? Oh god! Uh... If if not it's... that, if not that, then I especially with all the sand going, I always wait. Was shifting sandland the level from sixty four? Yeah, yeah, that's yes. right. I always yeah. forget that name of it. Yeah, Those ahead, tornadoes see. right there. Those are yeah. uh, galactic tornadoes. Okay. Galactic tornadoes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because apparently regular tornadoes in a, in a galaxy level need a, need their own. Oh, <laughs> oh for a second, I thought I wasn't going to make it. Yeah, that's fair. And summon. Yeah. Okay, so um, oh, I forget. I forget. What are these? What are these stars called? They're not launch stars. stars. They're something else. Uh, sling star. No, not. Uh, yeah, yeah, sling stars. Yeah. stars. They're sling stars. Okay. No, no, no. The sling stars are blue ones. No, those are pole stars. No, those are pole stars. Oh, those are pole stars. Okay. Get it? Pole and pole. Oh, okay. Pole star okay. preschool. Ouch! Oh, what the heck yeah, was that wall? What was that wall jump? <laughs> I just kind of gave up yet. halfway through. Oh, 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 oh. Or I was like, you know what? I'm not really feeling oh. this jumping anymore. <laughs> oh, you think you have it bad, Mario? I'm so I'm still having an out of body experience here. If I could just ask Icky real quick, since this is his first time joining us, um, Ick, would you care to explain your history mm -hmm. with the Mario Galaxies? Oh boy, shall I? Okay, Here we so go. Yeah, go launch day of Super Mario Galaxy in 2007, nice. I was still living in my old house, and I was really excited for this game to come out. I even pre-ordered it uh, at the, I believe it was at the GameStop uh, two towns over. Uh, regardless of such, 
uh, the day of release came out, and we got a phone call from GameStop. It was one of those automated messages where it's like, it's like, um, it sh it tells you when the game comes out because you know the the internet wasn't that big in 2007. I don't exactly remember it being that big. But anyways, um, well, it was big. It was big enough that that AOL was already obsolete. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. to mention, it was also when I first got exposed to MapleStory. So I mean, oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, is it MapleStory? Yeah. yeah, isn't there a MapleStory on iOS or MapleStory coming to Switch or something now? Uh, MapleStory yeah, so. M is on mobile devices. Oh, okay, yeah, it's on the Apple iStore and yeah, I think okay. Android. Anyways, um, Sorry, go ahead. so the day of release came, we got a phone call. The message uh, went on to say, it's like, we have a pre-order for you for Super Mario Galaxy rated M for Mature. What? <laughs> so my mom just gives me the stern look and she's what? like, uh, what kind of game did we order now? It can't be. <laughs> You mm. mean it's rated what, mom? It, that... No, mom, mom. I, no, hear me out. It's rated M for Mario. For Mario. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Mario How did someone screw that up? Am I the only? What's it? Now oh, I... dang it. Anyways, um, go ahead. Since I actually pre-ordered the game, I got the special edition of the game that not only included the disc but also came with this commemorative uh, Luma coin. Oh, same one I got. Mm -hmm. That one of the one of the coolest weird things I got that was like a collector's edition was this version of Epic Mickey that came with a Mickey like statue with like him carrying like uh, a, had, had him wielding the paintbrush aw. and everything. It was a, it was nice, but I swear to God that model was, that 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 figure of Mickey was so freaking brittle. Well, yeah, it was brutal because I had freaking I had a niece who couldn't keep her mouth off of the freaking <laughs> tip of the paintbrush and like nibbled it to death. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> so I just ended up getting trashed in the whole thing later, but it, it was cool Aww. for a little bit. Anyways, this is okay. so this ga this gravity here is so weird. <laughs> yeah, like Get this it. this set of planetoids doesn't really give off the vibe that you could go with the underside. Well, because oh, yeah. it has a flat surface on top. I hate this yeah. next. I, I hate yeah. this next planet. Oh me too. Oh, this one's easy. Oh yeah, I did not but, like. But I get this. so t I get so turned around so easily on this. Yeah, mm. that's easy. Honestly, I have no on this. Of, it's Can not, I collect all the cool one go? We'll see. It's not. Oh. You can't. Oh no, you can't. Never mind. Sorry, yeah, you ahead. have to open up this one to get the pole star piece. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Can I nice. Get it? Speed oh, run! Oh, yeah. oh. Never mind. So Come close. On. You no, do it. No, you no. do it, okay, Celia. Okay, I believe yeah, in you. It. Yeah! Okay. Okay, so back to you. Alright, back to you, Hype. I was just gonna Go say, ahead, that's please. kind of just a thing. Like, I know these guys disagree with me, but I kind of disagree. This really isn't hard, per se. It's just a little, I guess for lack of a more appropriate word, tedious. It's clunky to me. Yeah. Tedious, to get tedious, or yeah. tedious slash time consuming. Yes. Yeah. But that's that's only if you don't have the uh, don't have the foresight to um, try to sequence break there like Seely tried to do. And it's and nice. it's a nightmare when you're doing the speedrun version of this. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Not by much, to be fair. Like all the speedrun comments have always been super fucking generous. Which okay. is why I appreciate the change they made Oop. in Galaxy 2, where right. they made it so goddamn strict you have to really be I'm on the I'm trying to go right back up there. Uh, <laughs> oh, we we were at like the very tip. That sand there is super go. fast. Admittedly, this is one of my personal favorite planetoids in the game, only because it's one of those areas that feels like it's much bigger than it actually is. Because you don't get to traverse the entire surface despite it being a... Oh, hey, look, oh, Twisters! Oh, here we go. Here are the, the Twisters. Spinning bones. Spin now, how does skeleton. getting hit by these things work? No, that is, that, that is not even... That was not even a cartoony skeleton of a, of a Koopa. That was a straight up human. These things have killed people. What's what I think it's Mario oh. And it's about to say you too. Oh. And we shall join them. No, seriously, look at the twisters when you have close. I don't know if that was in the yeah, party they, or not. They but have these human have remains in there. I think it's just Mario's skeleton. I get the feeling that those are actually. Oh, you're right. I never, I never really paid attention. Full on skull there. Sorry, go ahead. I I get the feeling that those are parts of the electrocuted Ooh. Mario and Luigi mall that they just took apart and used for that. Now, why exactly they would use oh, it dear for this? God. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's fair. That's dark! <laughs> That's fair. These are all yeah. the dark clones that we've lost. All the lives lost. So, what? question, like, how does getting hurt by the Tweesters work in this case? Because I never um, really understood you'll, it. You'll, you'll see it in a second here. Okay. Those Tweesters are fine. They're harmless. It's but they these have both you have to worry about. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh, the rocks. 
Huh. I thought you could get hit by the skeletons inside the tornado. No. Nah. Oh god, those, that's actually... And, and that I warned just a few minutes right. ago. There we go. I, I warned just a few... Sorry, Queen. Run! <laughs> Sorry. No, that... I warned, just, I warned just a few minutes ago that those are just called tweezers with debris. Now that Tweezers just outright, I'm gonna say right now, that actually sounds really grim. The fact that, like, if you got sucked up to one of these things, bone is fairly strong in its own right, and that Mario would get ground up by bone. Ow. <laughs> Not well, a good it's like image a mortar my head in that case. Not a good image to put in my head, Icky, and being <laughs> blended up. No by question. Um, um, here's oh, my thing. Is. Why yes, did they can... change the Tweezer's face in this case? To, to set them apart from their Paper Mario counterparts, which is something else is kind of funny. Technically, Twister is originated for Paper Mario. As yeah, far as I'm concerned, this is the only Mario Mario enemy that's originated from an RPG that made it into the mainstream games. Oh, okay. Amazing. From an oh, RPG? You know, I swear, like, you could have called them anything else, and they would have just been garnered, garnered as, like, a generic tornado enemy. That was a mm -hmm. short part. <laughs> yeah. It's as if it blew by. And with that said, so we finish off what most we can of the desert world. We'll be doing a little yep. bit more and hopefully getting to the end of the bedroom, sort of. And then <laughs> next part. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, Morty. Let's Bye. clear it out so we can take a fucking nap already. All right. All right, guys. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. 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 Bye.